Episode 4 of Sampdoria Career Mode and I thought this time let's talk about our wingers on the left and right side. You could call them left back or left winger but we play as a winger. On the left side we have Nicolas Jono uh, from Cyprus, uh, 28 years old. We have also 29 years old Antonio Barreca. Uh, 22 years old Simone Giordano, or future maybe? We'll see. Right side, Fabio De Pauli, 27 years. That means that we could maybe have a few years with him on the right side. And I kind of like him. He's a speedy one, and I think he's going to be useful for us. And we have also Lorenzo Venuti, 29 years old on the right side. So, yeah. The age thing. Uh, it definitely feels like a Serie B team. Right now. I think it's like we said about the defense. They're good enough for Serie B, but for the future, yeah, maybe the Pauli. But other than that, I think we have to change the players, the wingers uh, in the coming years if we want to be the team that we are visioning us to be. affixed to one man in fantastic form and the top scorer in the league <laughs> will he add more today on EA TV hello everyone the heavens opened earlier and the rain shows no inclination to stop we're looking forward to the game anyway. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. And we've got what we hope will be exciting league action coming up for you. It's Sampdoria, and they take on Zutiro. Fabio De Pauli. Con il numero 44, Ioannou. E con il numero 9, Massimo Coda. And the initial 11 for Sampdoria. Well, the way they're set up, it's vital that they don't let the opposition switch the play. They must lock them down one side of the pitch, but they should have an advantage in midfield. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, it's a 5-4-1, and on paper, it looks very defensive. But they have got players that can break forward quickly and cause problems. It's just a case of how often they can get enough players into attacking areas. That's going to be key.
Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And what a great finish it is. He just lifts the ball over the keeper into the back of the net. That's a well-constructed goal. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. It looks promising. Will he find the net? And a goal! Cause for celebrations again. Two in front. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. That's a magnificent piece of goalkeeping. That's a great stop. Beautifully weighted ball. He fancies it. Really good piece of goalkeeping there. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match looked a constant threat and he scored a very good goal what a player he is Target. substitution time it is here and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end this looks interesting it's got to be and that's a very good parry. And the defenders know they need to get tighter. Gives it a go. Fine goalkeeping to push that away. For them. Good ball over the top. Not advantage with them. Referee says play on. Oh yes, what a pass. And caught by the keeper. Goalkeeping. Well, he's just pulled off a great save there. Such good reactions. It really is. Well, play was allowed to carry on, but now that it's come to a halt, a caution. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Taken short. And played in. And foiled only by the crossbar. And oh, it's in. We cannot declare this contest over. They still believe. Still pressing for an equaliser. Oh, fancy footwork. And fine goalkeeping. Well, he looks so sharp, doesn't he? Just not the finish he was hoping for there. It's going to be a double substitution. Can someone get on the end of this? And well positioned to clear. Oh, that's top-notch goalkeeping, you've got to say. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserved the result in the end. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Yeah, he'll be happy coming off the pitch. He worked hard, he was always involved in the game, and he scored a very good goal. That was an impressive performance today. A great home win against Sutirol, and again, we are doing a really good first half, but I don't know, we, 
we slow down in the second and uh, we let Sutirol make it a game of it. But yeah, we win, even if our second half could be better. But uh, yeah, we like three points. That is what we want and that's what we need. So let's try to build for two good halves. This is the kind of occasion we all relish as football fans. Non-stop hype all week long. And now for the action. And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And we're very much looking forward to bringing you league action today. Stuart, your expectations? Well, a quick start to the game is all important here today, and I'm sure both managers will have drilled that into the players. But they also have to play with composure and a tactical understanding. It should be a good game. Full credit to the visitors for the way they've gone about their defensive business. In fact, they're the number one team defensively in the league. Well, their defensive game plan is second to none this season, and that comes down to the coach and his work on the training field. That doesn't happen by chance. This is planned, practiced and perfected on a daily basis. The lineup then for the hosts. Well, in this 5 3 2, the three central midfield players will need to work hard today. They've got to make forward runs, cover the wide areas, and be the creative spark. They'll be key today. And the initial 11 for Sampdoria. Well, it looks like they're going to play in a 3 4 3 formation without wing backs, which means the outside centre halves will need to cover the areas out wide, which I would say is asking a lot. under the pressure and it's got to be well what an opportunity but really good defending you've got to say now options are plenty well the fans want to see a shot is this the moment couldn't quite hang on it's offside and perhaps he should have been a bit more alert and maybe a little bit more aware in the box he was just too static he would love to have back because it really was there for him so there goes the half-time whistle and it is a story of parity Stuart, what have you made of the visitors display well once again their defensive play has been excellent they've closed the ball down quickly they've stopped crosses coming into the box and i can't see them conceding today but can they now go and win it hi team kasami Oh, he looks threatening. And that was simply miles off target. Well, I think he's right to go for power, but he's made the wrong connection, and it's really poor technique in the end. And nobody there to pick him up in the centre. Going to get a try. And he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Well, good run and good ball control. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Can they forge ahead? No! And all because of the goalkeeper. Margins, margins. Well, he has done well there. And so the final whistle has sounded, and this game will go into the history books recorded as a draw. What do you think the visitors will feel about what they put into the game? Well, you can see why they have such a good defensive record. They're so well organised, and they have some great 1v1 defenders. But they lack to cut an edge going forward today, and they'll need to improve that side of their game.
kind of a typical Serie B game. Not a lot of chance. And we did never get going in this game. So, yeah, this was probably quite boring to watch. And yeah, I expect more, especially more chances. A city alive with the spirit of excitement and a stadium brimming with anticipation. The build-up has been intense and now we just can't wait for it all to begin. It's anyone's guess though, which team will come out on top? Stay tuned for all the action. A warm welcome to you and thanks for joining us for another game live on EA TV. Guy Mowbray with you for commentary. Delighted to be joined by Sue Smith. We've got a game coming up from Serie B. Sue, what are we going to get from this one? Cheers, Guy. I think it's so important that both teams start on the front foot, take the game to the opposition, and an early goal would certainly settle any nerves. A look at the table shows that just one point today is enough for the hosts to move top, though I'm sure they'll be looking at getting another win. Yeah, it's still only early on, but it's a great place to be, isn't it? And I've enjoyed watching them so far this season. They play some good stuff. Let's hope that continues today. Here's the Sampdoria team sheet. Well, I'm looking at this thinking it's a 3-4-2-1. In attack, they should have plenty of options. The three forwards, they're either going to stay narrow and combine or they're going to split to move the defence around. And the midfielders need to make sure that they can cover the width of the pitch when they don't have the ball. This is the lineup for the visitors. Yeah, it does look like a 4-4-2. Out of possession, I'm sure they'll stay compact in their shape. They'll shift across the pitch together, but when they go forward, the central strikers are going to be key to hold the ball up while waiting for runners. Could the goalkeeper have done better? Yes, but let's not take nothing away from that finish. This has to be! And that is a quality bit of goalkeeping. chance has gone for now and they want to see a shot here and a really good bit of goalkeeping to keep that out well speculative effort and it's been missed by quite a bit actually not the best effort going to be it for the first 45 minutes well he's produced a masterful performance up to this point 10 out of 10 
Yeah, it was an incredible performance. Clearly the difference between the two sides. He's causing that back line so many problems. He'll no doubt be desperate to score a hat-trick now, though. Coda. Great chance here. Well, that's what he's there for. It's a good stop. It looks the right ball. Oh, really good goalkeeping there. Promising position, this. In behind, can he finish? And a marvellous save. And it's a short one. Put into the middle. Oh, against the bar. It looked like something building there, but no longer. Well, you can't blame him for taking it on, but lacking the accuracy required. Goal kick. but well read to cut it well that brings the match to a close a frustrating day for the fans in attendance and it's three points dropped well I think the coaching staff will be furious after that they clearly didn't implement the game plan there was no real effort either I'm sure there'll be words in the dressing room after that performance All right, we knew this game would come someday, and today was the game game day that we really played bad. And should be worried, no goals in two games in a row. I thought it looked so good offensively. I thought we have found how to play with the, the, the play style, but yeah, I think I have got something else to think about now. But anyhow. Even we had played a little bit bad the two last games, we are at second place after nine games. So much better than we thought before the season started.